A huge welcome to Steve's Kitchen. It's that time of year, it's getting exciting, coming up to Christmas, and I will be using suet in the Christmas puddings we're making here on Steve's Kitchen, and also in my mince meat and mince pies. Now, I always get asked this time of year, what exactly is suet? And the simple answer is, it is the hard visceral fats that are found around the organs in beef. It can also be found in lamb and pork. Now, a lot of butchers will know exactly what suet is, and they will be able to provide it for you. You can go into supermarkets. There's a company called Atora that have been making suet for decades. And that's generally not too difficult to find. But if you can't find it today, we're going to show you how to make your own. Now, there is also vegetarian suet. Uh, it's not my favorite. I don't think it gives the same flavor or distinct tastes that I expect this time of year in the dishes that we make. Now, if you want to make your own vegetarian suet, you can by just using the hard uh, coconut fats, grating them down and coating them in a little bit of flour. I think Crisco works quite well also. But today, we are going to take a look at the simple process of making suet for yourself at home. And if you decide to follow along, I'd love to hear your experiences and I would love to see if you're gonna join me making Christmas pudding in an episode coming up very shortly. Now, if you buy suet from the butchers, this is what it's going to look like. It's a hard fat, even made harder by the fact that I've left this in the freezer overnight. I want it solid. It's easier to process if it's frozen. Now, I must shout out here to my dear friend, Anne of Easy Gluten Free, and she has got some wonderful gluten-free recipes, by the way. Anne and I made this two or three years ago in the food processor on the grater. And it was, to be honest, it's quite a waxy fat, so it was quite hard to clean the processor afterwards. Lots of hot water and soap. I'm gonna try a slightly different method today and see if it works better. So Anne, if you're watching, we can give this a try. I'm not gonna grate it. I'm actually gonna process it with the normal blades and I'm gonna add some flour in there, gluten-free or regular flour, it doesn't matter, to help keep these bits of fat into their smaller particles. Now I've managed to get about 250 grams, that's about half a pound of this fat from my local butcher. I'm just gonna pop it in the food processor. But before I blitz it, I'm gonna add some flour. Now it really doesn't matter how much flour we put in, you can put in up to about half a cup because we're not going to be keeping all the flour. This is just to help separate out the fats. I might as well pop that in there. I've gone with about half a cup. Now don't forget the suet has to be frozen and we are going to pulse this uh, for about a minute or so until we get a coarse sort of meal. Now I've only actually pulsed that for about 20 seconds and you can see that the fat itself has completely broken up. Don't be tempted to over blitz this. I want some texture left in this because I want to sift the flour out. And if it goes too fine, it'll go straight through the sieve. This is just about perfect. Still got some texture. So I'm gonna put about half of my suet and flour into the sieve. And what you're gonna do now is just tap it backwards and forwards. Now, if you look underneath, you can see the flour is just dropping through into the bowl below. Now we don't have to get rid of all the flour, but just in the top left in the sieve here is this beautiful suet. And that's exactly what we're looking for. Now I'm gonna put the suet separately in another bowl and I'll carry on and just do the last of the mix. So I'm pretty pleased with the way that's come out. I've got this beautiful flour coated suet here. Don't waste that flour by the way, I'll be using that for my Christmas pudding so uh, you can use it in any savory dishes you like. A quick note to Anne and anyone else that followed me last time, this is gonna be a lot easier to clean. So we've got our half a pound or 250 grams of suet here. I'm gonna be very shortly making some delicious mince meat to make some mince pies for Christmas. And we'll be doing, of course, our Christmas pudding as well coming up on Steve's Kitchen. So don't forget, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we will see you very shortly. Take care.